Alright, so tonight I'm working on a uh, Cummins uh, L9. It's got um, VGC actuator codes. I just plugged the new one in, so it's got that uh, special instructions code. But both of those abnormal update rate, uh, especially both of them together, um, nine times out of ten end up being the VGC actuator itself. So I'm going to show you how to uh, make sure the turbo is still. Alright, so right now I have the old actuator off. The new one is plugged in so that I can run the uh, calibration test. And I've got the um, uh, vacuum being pulled, slide one, on the cooling system so that I'm draining the whole thing. So what you got here is you got a line right here. turbo and the new one is plugged in. Okay, start. Alright, now the big thing is you want to make sure that you do not key off when you go from install to calibrate. And then it's going to tell you to mount the, the actuator onto the turbo. Right, so now i got the new actuator on there still plugged in. Now I'm going to do the calibration. Calibration passed. Get back out of that. Fault code. Your special instruction went away because you actually calibrated it. And what I like to do is make sure you key off and key back on um, because it does a self test. Uh, whenever you do that so you can make sure that before you finish everything up it doesn't have any uh, fault codes and no fault 